Hey guys, so today we are talking about Bluehost. It's the $3.95 WordPress web hosting service, and we're gonna talk about how does it compare to a $99 a month service. We're gonna talk about why people use Bluehost, why I use Bluehost, why I also use this other service. And then we're gonna do a comparison between the speeds of this $3.95 versus the $99 service. And at the end, we're gonna talk about is Bluehost worth the money? All right, let's check it out. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Wise and I'm with Life Tailored and we talk about everything that makes your life great. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below and follow me on Instagram at Life Tailored. Okay, so let's start talking about Bluehost. So Bluehost is a company that has a ton of history. They got started way back in 1996, originally with just a super cheap hosting plan. Since then, they've gone on to power more than 2 million websites, and today they own a ton of different brands. The parent company is EIG, and they own brands like Bluehost, which of course you know, and then HostGator, and then a couple other random cheap web hosting services. Now Bluehost is known for their super cheap pricing, $3.95, and the way they do that is they're definitely not the best. They're probably not the fastest, although we're gonna find that out. But what they do is they spread their servers all over the world and look for ways to maximize efficiency so they can deliver the best price to you guys. So let's start off with why I use Bluehost and why I recommend it. So back when I got started way back in 2009, my first website was set up with Bluehost. And Bluehost is known for paying out really good affiliate commissions. I personally get paid about 100 bucks, 80 bucks for every referral I send over and for every sign up you guys do on Bluehost. And that's why you're seeing so many reviews about Bluehost on YouTube. The other reason you're seeing so many reviews on Bluehost is they offer, I think right now it's about a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you follow the money and everybody was signing up for Bluehost because it's super cheap and because they pay their affiliates a ton of money, you'd expect a lot of people canceling and never using Bluehost again and affiliates getting burned. Because whenever somebody signs up for Bluehost, I don't get paid until that 30 day window ends. So if people signed up and then quit their service, I would never get any money. So it can tell you that even though Bluehost does spread a bunch of money around there, other web hosts do that as well. But Bluehost is super cheap and super reliable and it's a great starting point. That's why I started out with Bluehost because for $3.95, back then I was broke. I didn't have a lot of money to invest into a web host and that's a great starting price. It's a way to get you in the door and just get that website built, some positive momentum as you build your business. So Bluehost does have some pros and does have some cons. So the first pro is the $3.95 pricing plan. That's a monthly plan and they offer an annual as well as a tri-annual monthly subscription that allows you to bundle everything together, save some money on the long run. And that's a really great starting point and a great pro and a pricing point of Bluehost. They also have really good reliability. So reliability is typically measured in the 99 percentage uptime. So that means 99% of the time your website is gonna be available and it's gonna be accessible. I would say from my experience running Bluehost, there's never really been a time I've noticed Bluehost getting more than 10, 15, 20 minutes of downtime an entire month. And as a starting off blog that only gets a couple thousand people per month, you're not gonna notice a difference. It's not worth investing into this other service and it's gonna have a much higher uptime. Bluehost doesn't have any hidden charges when you sign up. They do have some bundling, which I'm gonna go over in the hidden costs and the cons of Bluehost, but it's pretty straightforward. For $3.95 a month, you're getting your hosting, you're getting free WordPress support on that, and you're all taken care of. And the other cool thing is with Bluehost, you do get a free domain when you sign up. I've started to buy a bunch of domains in GoDaddy, and domains can get expensive. A common .com domain from GoDaddy is around 10 to 15 bucks, and that goes up as you renew it. Some other domains like freesamples.us, that renewal is sometimes in the 20 to $30 range. So when you sign up for Bluehost at $3.95, they include that $10 or $15 domain name already bundled in there. Now let's get to the cons. So the first con is the renewal fees on that domain are a little bit higher than what you're gonna see on GoDaddy. GoDaddy renewals are 10 to 15 bucks a month. On Bluehost, sometimes the renewals can be $20. The thing is, you can always remove your domain from Bluehost, transfer it to GoDaddy, and renew it over there. That does add in some complexities and it requires you to 
do an EPP transfer, and if any of these terms are sounding confusing, it's probably worth the five extra bucks to keep everything within that Bluehost environment. The other con about Bluehost is there's a ton of upsells and they try to really maximize their value per customer when they sign up. So when you sign up, you're gonna see three different pricing plans. You're gonna see the beginner, the middle, the premium, and all these additional services like SSL, email, all this sort of stuff. And to tell you the truth, you don't need any of those additional services. Some of those services can be useful, and if they look like something you would use, go ahead and sign up for it. But my recommendation, if you're starting out, just go for that basic $3.95 plan. Everything's in there, you're not gonna miss anything in there. And then finally, Bluehost is not as fast as other more professional services. I've used VPS.net as well as WP Engine, which is a $99 hosting provider I'm referring to, and the speed is not as fast. How fast is Bluehost compared to these other service providers? Let's jump into it right now. Okay, so what I did is I ran a speed check for Bluehost, plugged in a basic website, and looked at how fast is this website on a scale from one to 100. Right now I'm looking at the website, it looked like it got an 86 out of 100. It got a B score, which is fantastic. And it's 85% faster than every other website out there. So for $3.95, you get a website that's 85% faster than everything else out there. To me, that's pretty good. Okay, but how does it compare to WP Engine, which is the web host that I use to manage all of my websites, which costs around $99 starting price point. I plugged in a website in here, and we're looking at a performance grade of 91, and it's 93% faster than other sites on the web. So that's a 5% increase in the performance grade, and an 8% faster than other sites on the web, but it's $95 more expensive. So my question to you is, do you have an extra $95 to get your website to be 8% faster or 8% faster than other sites on the web? To me, I don't think there's a lot of value in that. And that's kind of the jux of this review in itself, where if you can get by with a $4 web hosting plan versus a $99 web hosting plan, Bluehost is an awesome option. It's not the best, it's not perfect, there are flaws, there are things that you gotta look out for, but if you're just getting started out and your main hurdle is, I have no website, I have nothing, and Bluehost for four bucks is gonna get me there, then do Bluehost, sign up for that one year plan, and then reevaluate a year from now. If you uncover that, hey, I've got a ton of traffic on my site, congratulations, you're probably one of the few, but in general, $4 to get started is the best plan out there. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. So. The reason most websites are slow is not because of the web hosting plan. As you can see from two basic websites, there's only a five point difference from a $99 host to a $4 host. The main reason your website is slowing down is probably because you have a really inefficient, slow theme. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a link down in the description here and it has a list of all of the, what is it, 20 or 30 fastest WordPress themes that are also free. So if you really wanna speed up your site, you could be running on Bluehost and just install one of these themes. And what these themes do is they strip everything down, they make sure everything loads super fast so that you can get a fast website that's gonna rank in Google and it's gonna be a great user experience. Because the reason speed is so important is they say like for every extra 50 milliseconds, people fall off your website and they're not gonna be a subscriber, they're not gonna sign up and enjoy your content. So speed really is important. And instead of focusing on the web hosting side, focus on these themes, check out these themes, run some speed tests. I'm also gonna put a link down below so you can run your own speed tests and see how fast everything is. I know I told you guys that I started out with Bluehost for my initial websites, but right now I'm no longer using Bluehost and I'm using WP Engine. So WP Engine is great for me because one, it helps me manage, I've got close to 25 sites in there and I've basically got an admin panel in there that allows me to do periodic updates and backups and provisioning so that when I have a new developer for a new website, I can just assign them to just the capture site or just the life tailored or just free samples. And it really allows me as a web admin to control my network of sites. If I just had a single site and I was just running a basic sort of thing, I think Bluehost is a great option. But if you do find yourself coming across more and more sites and you're building more and more properties, you might want to check out what WP Engine. I'm going to put a link down below that gets you a little referral discount. But for the vast majority of people watching this video, go for Bluehost. Don't even think about WP Engine, but just have this as food for thought to know that, you know, my future business plans as my business grows, there are better hosts out there. They're going to be more expensive, but here's my two cents on it. Okay, guys. So. How does Bluehost stack up against these other web hosting providers? 
To me, I think Bluehost is the best option for $3.95. It's only five points away from another hosting option that's $99, $95 more expensive than Bluehost. Bluehost has its pros, has its cons, but at the end of the day, if you're watching this video and you need a website, click on the link down below, check to see if your domain name's available, you get that free domain, and sign up for Bluehost. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Again, I wanna stress this to you guys, I am your resource here. I reply to every single comment on YouTube. If you have any questions about Bluehost, starting your website, finding a fast theme, developing your niche, making money online, here's a video to help you out on that. Any questions you have, put them in the comments. I reply, I'm here to help you guys out. Let's get started. Okay guys, thanks again. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below and follow me on Instagram, at Life Tailored. I'll see you guys for the next video. <laughs>